Hey guys and welcome to All About The Popcorn. I'm Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film or in this case Netflix originals then consider hitting that subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest series, The Chair. <laughs> So The Chair is a Netflix original series. We're going to be getting six episodes this Friday, August the 20th. It is going to be a very easy binge if you do decide to watch this show. They're each about 30 minutes long. So again, if you do decide to watch it, it's going to be a very simple little breezy little binge watch for you. So I actually got an email about a week ago asking if I was interested in the first three episodes before it did come out of course this Friday and of course I wasn't gonna say no to three episodes. Mind you you guys I had no clue what this show was about. I've never even heard about it. When they did send me the email it did have Sandra O's photo as you know the promo because she's the lead. So all I knew was that Sandra O oh was in the movie not the movie the show and I do love me some Sandra O. Oh. Now I didn't see Killing Eve but I do love her from like Grey's Anatomy and even like the little principal from Princess Diaries. But that, other than that, I had no clue what uh, this show was about. Um, now, as you can tell by the title, we are only talking about the first three episodes. And again, it is six episodes. Um, but again, I was not going to say no to, to some episodes. I've never had episodes before, you guys. I'm super excited because I've never had episodes before. I've had screeners. This make me into like a real film YouTuber. Super excited. Now the synopsis is at a major university the first woman of color to become chair tries to meet the dizzily demands and high expectations of a failing English apartment at prestige Pembroke University. So off the bat we do have a wonderful cast leading with Sandra O, oh, Holland Taylor, David Morris, and Bob Balaban. I'm sure I'm saying his name wrong. You're new. Just know I don't know how to pronounce people's names. I, I'm always watching them. Actress Amanda P is actually one of the co-creators for the show. And the show itself does have some really clever writing. It does also have a few, like very few comical beats to it. I think it attempts to be funnier than what it is or it really goes for like that really smart humor. And I'm just not smart like that. I don't know. I'm assuming that might be what it is because it is considered a dramedy comedy. Dramedy comedy? A dramedy but honestly unfortunately other than those positives that's all I have now on to my negatives this is a very like in your face like literally like it's there so the show is targeting ageism sexism uh, racism cancel culture all within this like academical world and for this to only be you know 30 minute episodes I feel like it's just too short like this definitely should have been one of those series where we did get the you know 45 to an hour minute long episode just because there's just so much going on again we have like all this going on here and because we were trying to focus on all this kind of drama i don't feel like we're properly flushing out the story and most importantly the characters you know we're supposed to have some sort of of a connection to these characters as the audience like we need to be able to root for somebody feel something for these people whether it's oh we're happy that you are now the chair of this department not only being a woman but a woman of color we have to feel bad for the professor who is now a widower and he's going through some issues but you you're, you don't you just don't you don't feel these things for these characters because there's no real flushing out because again we're trying to focus on over here we're having this be here and i'm just like no COVID six feet apart and i don't mind these topics it just needs to be done a certain way and just not here like again COVID. like let's have you over there we're gonna discuss you and we're going to properly like flush you out but honestly i'm just gonna leave it with that because i feel like if i keep going i'm gonna give more away and i'm already kind of talking bad about the series so i don't know if i'll be getting any more episodes in the future i do hope i do get more <laughs> because it was awesome but if i don't it's whatever i'm not going to lie to you guys i'm going to give you my honest opinion on anything that i watch i will never i will i will try to never steer you wrong and hopefully like our tastes 
match somewhat you know hopefully they're not like all over but you know we can be you know somewhere around the same medium personally i have no interest in finishing off this uh the season again just one season i don't know if it's going to get renewed for a second i personally i mean i wish it the best of luck i'm sure it's gonna have its audience it might be you but for me personally it's just not really for me again if you do decide to watch it or maybe you do uh, you've seen it already and you really do love it let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you hate it was it just not for you but i just really i don't want to finish watching it i have no interest and i really honestly don't recommend it but that's pretty much gonna be all my thoughts for today if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet it really does help the channel out we're getting up there to 400 you guys and of course don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions